I wonder if you can guess who I am. I'm baby Jane Hudson. This is Blanche Hudson. What seems to be the trouble? Hi, I'm Lucy. Thank you for joining me for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite movies, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and I'm going to be showing you some of the locales with addresses and of course the famous and beautiful mansion that was used for the movie. This mansion really existed, it still exists, and this was shot in 1962. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. Um, this is located in Los Angeles, California, directed by Robert Aldrig. And some of the cast were, of course, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, Victor Buono, and Wesley Addy. And for those of you that have seen this movie you're going to be familiar with some of the scenes this took me a while to do because i edited some special clips for you i think they're kind of cute and funny um so please stay till the end to see them and i hope you enjoy them and a little bit about the area and the mansion and the locale is that uh, this movie was sold at the time as a psycho horror the movie has since turned out to be an all-time camp classic, for those of you that don't know that. Um, as the two great screen queens of the 30s and 40s, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, were teamed for the first time in a low-budget shocker. Director Robert Aldrich is responsible for many macho pictures such as Apache, The Dirty Dozen, and Kiss Me Deadly. He went on to corner the market in OTT melodramas with Hush, Hush, Sweet Charlotte, another favorite. And London set The Killing of Sister George. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane was made by Warner Brothers, but by the early 60s, unfortunately, the two stars were seen as has-beens, and the production was shunted off the lot to the Ramshackle Producer Studio, now the Independent Rally Studios, and it's located at 650 North Bronson Avenue at Melrose Avenue, while the entire Warner Brother lot was given over to the big prestigious musical Gypsy. Mama's boy pianist Edwin Flagg was to have been played by Peter Lawford, but President Kennedy's brother-in-law got cold feet and was thankfully replaced by the magnificent Victor Buono, who regularly guessed as villain King Tut in the 60s Batman TV series. Set in a fast decaying Hollywood where Jane Hudson, played by Betty Davis, drives her old Continental along Wilcox Avenue and at Sunset and Labrie. She calls in at the now gone Western Costume Company which stood at 5339 Melrose Avenue. Edwin Flagg's bungalow is in a ra rather nice gated complex at 5267 De Prong Avenue at North Harvard Boulevard, just south of Sunset Boulevard in East Hollywood. And the beach scene where the secrets are revealed and poor Blanche dies, and I hope I didn't give the ending away. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't because it's a very popular movie is westward beach on malibu's west shore just off of the pacific coast highway north of los angeles the old mansion where the sisters live in a mutually dependent hate hate relationship is 172 south mccadden place between west first and west second streets in hancock park which is south of 
Hollywood. So there you go. I gave away some secrets. And like I said, um, I made some special clips for you. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Please come back to see the next one. Comment below. Like and share and subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't already. Thank you and be blessed. You enjoy making a person look like two cents, don't you? That's Miss Hudson. Well, get this straight. I don't like being made to look like two cents. Oh, Blanche, you know we got rats in the cellar? You wouldn't be able to do these awful things to me if I weren't still in this chair. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. You're just a liar. You're just a liar. You're just a liar. You always were. Then you could tell him a whole lot of lies about me. Scare him off. Or maybe have him for yourself. don't know how well I know your brother. Kill it! She stinks, doesn't she? Shut up! I don't know anything! I don't think anybody's ever gonna want that picture again. And all this time we could have been friends.